Welcome back to the prospect. I'm going to go through in, again another Mets minor league report, and really the big player of the week was uh, Mets prospect Drew Gilbert. He just went on a home run tear this week, and he might be putting himself in, on the radar of getting a call up in another week. We'll see. He's not on the 40 man roster, so just keep that in mind. Sunday's action in the Mets minor leagues featured two wins and two losses. Wins occurred in Double A and Low A from Mets Marais. With the Binghamton Road Ponies and St. Lucie Mets prevailing. Meanwhile, the Triple A and High A teams, the Syracuse Mets and Brooklyn Cyclones, both gave up di double digit runs and a pair of losses. One of the day's highlights was a grand slam for St. Lucie off the bat of AJ Yoon, who was has gone from St. Lucie and he was he got a promotion to Binghamton, not Binghamton, excuse me, the Brooklyn Cyclones, as well as catcher Ronald Hernandez, whose four run shot. Walked off the game in Grand Slam. In the bottom of the ninth, Drew Gill continued his power search for Syracuse, still getting a three-run homer, his third in the past week. And, and Gilbert has has pop for the little guy. For the little guy. Uh, Triple A, the Durham Bulls beat the Syracuse Mets 10-6. We're going to talk about, about uh, Drew Gilbert, uh, by the way, on the big baseball head channel because, uh, like I said, depending on how he does, he might be getting a call up if they, if they need a guy it has got a little pop off, off the bat and it can run a little bit. Luis and Hal Cunha went two for five with a run scored. Drew Gibble went one for five with a home run, three RBIs. Luke Ritter, another guy to keep an eye on, although he seems to be lagging a little bit. Went two for four. He's got a home run. He's got the most home runs for any minor leaguer. Two runs, an RBI, 871 OPS. Jackie Bradley Jr. is starting to pick it up now. Went two for four with a double. Uh, 719 OPS. Syracuse Mets lost to the Durham Bulls 10 to 6 in the series finale. Game was not as close to score suggested as Durham led 7 1 in the sixth inning and 10 3 in the ninth. Drew Gilbert had a three run homer in the bottom of the ninth to bring the Mets closer. While it didn't help the team win, it was Gilbert's third home run in his past five games. As he has looked good after missing an extended period, he missed most of the season. Uh, Don Hamill pitched four in the third innings, gave up three runs. Five hits, three walks, four strikeouts. Alex Young pitched two-thirds of an inning, struck out a batter. Tyler Zuber pitched two-thirds of an inning, gave four earned runs, three hits, two walks, and a strikeout. Right-handed pitcher Justin Jarvis pitched one in the third inning, struck out two. Grant Harwick uh, threw two-thirds of an inning, gave up two earned runs. Max Cranick gave up, uh, uh, pitched uh, a third of an inning, didn't give up anything, didn't get a strikeout. Uh, Eric Orsi pitched one inning. <clears throat> The Mets need seven pitchers to complete the game. Four pitchers allowed at least one run, and four pitchers had outings of less than an inning. Dom Hamill struggled as the starter, earning his seventh loss of the year, while Tyler Zuber, Grant Harwig, and Max Cranick allowed runs out of the bullpen. Zuber's outing was especially troubling as he allowed four runs while recording just two hits. I mean, two outs, excuse me. He's not pitched well since the Mets picked him up from uh, the Rays. And he was a player that was uh, had been playing with the Long Island Ducks as well as Jackie Bradley Jr., it's sort of just guys that if they need him in a pinch, uh, the Mets could call them up. Uh, the Binghamton Rumble Ponies, Rumble Ponies defeated the Reading Fighting Phils two to one. Let's go do this. Look, go do the uh, the box. Uh, Wyatt Young went two for four with two strikeouts and a wall, and a stolen base. Uh, Ryan Clifford went zero for two and he struggled through August. Terrible August. His OPS is at eight oh three, but it was like over way over nine hundred. Stanley Consuelo went one for three with a walk, a strikeout. Jalen Palmer went two for three with a home run, two uh, a run, two RBIs. His OPS is 748. Uh, the Binghamton Rome Ponies, he, and I would mention about Palmer, he's from uh, Queens. The Rome, the Rome Ponies, he got their win over the Reading Fighting Phils. Two to one, Jalen Palmer was the offensive hero, get, driving in both runs on a solo home in the second inning and an RBI single in the bottom of the 10th. To win it, to walk it off. Nolan McLean pitched four and two thirds innings, gave up a run, earned walk, hit, seven strikeouts. It was a wonderfully pitched game by Binghamton's staff. Nolan McLean started the game and had a successful inning despite not making it through five innings. Cameron Forster, Daniel Juarez, and TJ Shook relieved him and combined for five and a third scoreless innings to secure the win. Shook earned the win. Tossing two perfect innings to end the game. High A, the Brooklyn Cyclones 
were defeated by the Jersey Shore Blue Paws, 11-2. Nick Morabito went 1-3. for three. I would expect that uh, Morabito might get uh, promoted to double A, I think. The way he's played for all his stone bases. I did start in St. Lucie, so he, you know, he'll be going to three leagues, but that one surprised me. Uh, Christopher Suarez went 1-4 for four with a run scored. Kalen Clark went 0-4. Omar, Omar De Los Santos went 2-4. for four. On the pitching side, let's see. A Jack Weninger pitched two innings, gave up four runs, three earned, five hits, a walk, and, a, and no strikeouts. Luis Moreno went three innings, gave up a, a walk, four strikeouts. Alan Perdomo uh, struck out one in, a, in one inning. Gregory Luis, Gregory Lewis, excuse me, gave up an earned run, three hits, no strikeouts, and an inning. Henry Henry, boy, I hope he gets to the majors. Did not pitch well. Pitched two thirds of an inning, gave five earned runs, four hits, a walk, and a strike. I hope he gets called up. Just so I can hear Keith says, say his name. That's Keith Hernandez, if you don't know. Uh, like the Syracuse Mets, Brooklyn also needed seven pitchers to get through the game. Jack Weninger and Henry Henry allowed nine of the 11 runs to come across in a combined two, thir two and two thirds innings. While Luis Moreno shined with three scores and he's a relief. The Brooklyn pitching staff allowed 11 runs on 16 hits and five walks. The St. Lucie Club defeated the Palm Beach Cardinals 8 to 5. Carson Benj went 1 for 2. And as you know, Carson Benj is from Oklahoma. And he got a uh, look twice and struck out and scored a run. Your hero Savis went 1 for 2 with a double. Uh, AJ Ewan, like I said, was <clears throat> uh, got promoted to the. Uh, uh, to the, the Cyclones today. Ewing went three for five. He had a walk-off grand slam. Also had a double in the game. Four RBIs, two runs. His OPS was at a 7-11. The, the St. Lucie Club had just a terrible year. But he's been one of the shining lights down there, as well as Ronald Hernandez. A lot of injuries. The Mets, Mets farm system, in particular the, the position players, there's so many injuries this year to, to all these position players that the Mets have in their minor leagues. It has been a very, very difficult year uh, to assess some of the players that the Mets have in their mind. Like Jeff Williams, Drew Gilbert, um, Jacob Reamer. I mean, the Mets have had tons of injuries. Um, but uh, that's that's how it is sometimes. You know, you go to, but the Mets pitchers have been really good. The pitching lab has really had quite the domino effect on the Mets pitching staff, particularly every day, uh, particularly the major league staff. They said that, uh, that, that Daniel Nunez is one of these guys that was a middling, pro not even a prospect, and he's and at 27, 28 years old, he's done a great job. But uh, getting close to the end of the season, I uh, would mention if you've been watching this channel, I've been trying to figure out how to integrate this information to you on the baseball hut. And um, I don't know how much longer I can do just met stuff on you, just so you know, um, on a regular basis. Might have other teams, so many other prospects out there. I'd like to expand this channel just a, just a tiny bit. Talk about other prospects in Major League Baseball. But we'll see how that goes. Um, and we're getting, like I said, we're getting close to the end of the season. I still do have to do more uh, uh, scouting reports for you for the Mets 2024 draft. we got about seven more players to go. Red, I guess player number 13 in the 13th round for the Mets. Another pitcher. Mets took a lot of pitchers this year in the draft. But let me know what you think about this video. And of course, I appreciate the time you take to watch. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.